Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla pushes against Senate Bill 512, legislation that would prohibit direct sales and over-the-air updates. Tesla's world's largest battery has been shut down for months due to investigation, but it is still moving ahead with expansion. Elon Musk says, increased autopilot top speed is coming soon. And, Tesla launches Model Y standard range, all-wheel drive for employees, starting at $60,000, and with a few upgrades. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla is reaching out to supporters to push against Senate Bill 512 in Oklahoma, a piece of legislation that would prohibit direct sales and close both service centers and showrooms in the state. Additionally, Tesla said in its letter that SB 512 would prohibit Tesla from offering over-the-air software updates to vehicles. Last month, we informed you about HB 3994, a detrimental bill proposed in the Oklahoma State Legislature. With your help, we were successful in stopping HB 3994, but unfortunately, most of that same language has been amended onto another bill, Tesla said. Senate Bill 512 is new legislation that passed out of committee last week and will now go before the full House of Representatives for a vote, Tesla added. In late February, Tesla pushed for supporters to contact local representatives in hopes of stopping HB 3994 in its tracks. It made its way to the House of Representatives after making its way through the House Business and Commerce Committee in early March thanks to a unanimous 11-0 vote. However, it did not move past the House and was successfully stopped. Unfortunately, Senate Bill 512 includes much of the same language as HB 3994 and is currently being considered by members of the House of Representatives, Tesla said on its Engage platform. SB 512 is new legislation that passed out of committee and will now be voted on by the full House of Representatives. If passed, this bill could force Tesla to close its existing locations in Oklahoma and prevent Tesla from offering over-the-air software updates to your vehicle. Oklahoma should focus on increasing revenue and jobs in the state, not stifling competition and limiting consumer choice," Tesla added. Direct sales are still a touchy subject within some states, as dealerships and other entities push against the buying format. A Connecticut Tesla service center permit was recently revoked after Hoffman Auto Group, a company with a string of local dealership locations, argued that Tesla was attempting to loophole its way through laws prohibiting automakers from selling directly to customers. An issue not exclusive to Tesla, many electric car companies, including Rivian and Lucid Group, have adopted a direct-to-consumer sales strategy. It takes the guessing game out of car buying, an activity that many believe is among the most stressful tasks in adult life. Offering the same car at the same price to all consumers and removing required and dedicated salespeople can lower prices and avoid stressful dealership tactics like market value adjustments. If you also think that Tesla is doing the right thing, then support Tesla to stop the bill. Moving to the next update, Tesla's world's largest battery has been shut down for months due to investigation, but it is still moving ahead with expansion. Tesla has deployed what many believe will become the world's largest battery system for pg and at the Moss Landing Station in California. However, the Tesla Megapack system has been shut down for months due to a fire investigation. But the company is still planning to move forward with the expansion of the energy storage system this summer. It involves four separate energy storage projects, and two of them should become the world's largest battery systems. Dynegy is going to deploy a 300-megawatt, 1,200-megawatt-hour project on PG&E's grid, while the Tesla project will be 182.5-megawatt, 730-megawatt-hour, which could eventually go up to 1.1-gigawatt-hour. Tesla's proposal for the project in 2018 showed that the company plans to use Megapack instead of its usual power pack for large utility-scale projects. In 2020, the project was officially approved, and Tesla started construction on the first phase of the project in July. 
Last year, Tesla deployed Megapacks with a capacity of 100 megawatt, 300 megawatt hour at the site, and Vistra Corporation, the operator of the site for PG&D, started operating the system. However, there were two incidents related to smoke and fire at the site, in September 2021 and February 2022, that prompted a shutdown of the Tesla Megapack system for a full investigation. Months later, there's no clear timetable to power the system back on, but local newspaper, Monterey County Weekly reports that the companies are aiming for this summer. Both PG&D and Vistra appear confident that Tesla's batteries were not related to the incidents. At least one of the incidents reportedly was related to the Dynergy system, but not much information is currently available until the investigation is completed. Even though the Megapacks remain shut down, the company plans to move ahead with the expansion of the energy storage systems with the next phase that aims to double it in size. All parties involved expect the CPUC to approve the expansion. Moving to the next update, Elon Musk says, increased autopilot top speed is coming soon. When Tesla Vision was first launched in May 2021, the automaker reduced the top speed from 90 miles per hour down to 75 miles per hour. This was done as a precautionary measure to ensure the new camera-based autopilot system worked as intended. After some initial validation, that was increased to 80 miles per hour with the 2021.4.18.10 software update about one month later. Now, nearly one year later, CEO Elon Musk says a further increase to the top speed is in the works. When asked by Zach on Twitter for an increase to either 85 miles per hour or 90 miles per hour, Musk didn't provide an exact timeline for when it might happen, instead opting to respond with one of his favorite phrases, coming soon. He also didn't specify if the increase was going to be to 85 miles per hour or 90 miles per hour. Tesla has been slowly expanding Tesla Vision after its initial launch last year. The automaker has removed radar from Model S and Model X cars built at Fremont and last week announced cars destined for Europe and the Middle East also now rely entirely on the onboard cameras for autopilot, FSD capability, and other safety features. Tesla has also turned off radar for everyone with full self-driving beta, which now includes more than 60,000 users after expanding to Canada last month. Moving to the last update, Tesla has launched the Model Y standard range, all-wheel drive, starting at $60,000, but it only made it available to employees for now. Reports are emerging that Tesla has now started deliveries of the Model Y standard range, a variant of its all-electric crossover that was cited during the Cyber Rodeo event at Gigafactory Texas last week. The vehicle is reportedly only available for Tesla employees for now, but this might change within the following weeks. During the Cyber Rodeo, some attendees of the event were surprised to see that some of the Model Ys in the Giga Texas complex were listed as standard range, all-wheel drive. This was quite surprising, considering that the vehicle has not been announced by Tesla at all, and it is not available on the company's current Model Y order page. That being said, Cyber Rodeo attendees observed that the vehicle seemed to have 279 miles of range. Interestingly enough, these observations matched a Model Y variant that was added to the EPA website earlier this year. Few details were available about the rather mysterious Model Y, though the variant was listed with 279 miles of range. This incited rumors that Tesla was looking to release a new standard range version of its best-selling all-electric crossover. These seem to have been confirmed recently, as an email reportedly sent by the company last Friday indicated that the Model Y standard range dual motor is now available for purchase, though only for the company's employees. According to the employee communication, it has a 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration in 5 seconds, which is barely slower than the Model Y long range at 4.8 seconds. Aside from changes to the powertrain, the new Model Y built in Texas also has a few new features, including a magnetic center console armrest and a parcel shelf. Tesla delivered the first 20 Model Ys to employees at the event last week, 
and it is expected to continue deliveries to employees who ordered the vehicle in the coming weeks before listing it on its online configurator, along with the long-range and performance versions built in California. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.